Welcome back to some more great tips and tricks with Wix.com. Today we're going to be creating a website based around music. Without further ado, let's continue to create our new website. And if you haven't already, please click subscribe and follow us and let us know what you think about our videos in the comments section. And that way you don't miss any more awesome tips and tricks with Wix.com. All right. Uh, creating the new website, you can see we're my sites here on Wix.com once you register. I just click create a site, give it a few moments and it will load. All right, now it wants to know what kind of site this should be. You can see business, online, store, or music. Since today we're going to be creating a music website, we click music. Now once you do this, it also, remember, it asks you, do you want Wix ADI to create one for you? Answer those few questions or with a template. And you can just do it from a template as well with a thousand other design features. All right. Now we chose that website template instead of the ADI. And we're going to scroll down and look at some of the options we have. As you can see, some pretty cool musicians for bands, uh, record labels, if you want to create a record label. Uh, let's say <clears throat> an event venue, keep on dancing, a DJ. Uh, let's see, let's see. All right, uh, let's go over and see what other options we have. Let's see, event musicians, musicians, music blog. Mm -hmm, some pretty cool templates here. All right, just scrolling down. I'm going to jump a couple pages here just to see. All right, more DJs. You can see they have a really big selection of those. Ah, a Christmas album landing page. That's pretty cool. Events, bands. Uh, let's see. Hmm. A music festival. Event venue, the same, uh, choir. All right, I'm going to go here to four since the one I skipped. And it loads up more booking agencies, a new album landing page. And we have musician as well. And a band. Hmm, what should we go to? Let's try, let's do one with a band. What do you say, guys? Uh, so let's click view. Let's see what it looks like. Black unicorns. <laughs> All right, let's edit this one. Okay, all right, give it a few moments. We're gonna load up. So lock and load. <laughs> all right, now we've got our page loaded up, fantastic. All right, now you can see, now this is pretty cool. There's an image added here, uh, and you have two text, uh, and the another image in the background, and it's just exactly uh, just moved. So you can move this here so it's just exactly stacked, right? So that's an image. You can also change the text by double-clicking unicorns, and you can change that. So uh, let's see. Let's start with this design. Now you can see that this is for this band. Uh, so let's go ahead and change this website for you to fit your music. Uh, you can see here the latest news. All right, black unicorns. Maybe we, we like this, we don't like this. We could change it. Uh, let's see, I want to cut this. I don't like that. We can just leave that. And I don't like the name black unicorns. Let's call it, uh, the gray. Let's call it gray matter, right? And you can see as I'm clicking, I can actually just change the name. Uh, that image I don't really care for either. Uh, so uh, now that I click that, I want to change the image. You can see here, change the image. All right, it's taking us back to our dashboard for the uh, so photos. And then you can upload your own picture as well. Uh, huh, huh, huh. I'm going to click upload. I'm going to go from my computer. Upload from my computer. One moment so I can change mine. Okay. Now, I have my own image that I want to add. Uploading my image that I have here. And I'm going to select. And I am going to choose image. Now, this is coming from my computer. And I just changed it. Pretty cool, right? All right. Now, I have this done. Uh, I can crop it. I can change it. I can do whichever I like 
right here with settings, the design, you can design it and it's going to give the borders, the theme frames, right, uh, which is not what I want to do here. Uh, I can crop it and when I crop it I can exactly just make this a little bit wider, right, I could bring this down just a taste and I can do this, right, or I can rotate it. Reset shape proportions. Mm -hmm. I like this. Let's see. Now I can choose the shape. That's pretty cool. You can see that we can kind of choose here. And I'm going to choose this one. This looks pretty cool. All right. And there's a lot of different options. Okay, I'm going to exit out, and I'm going to select, and you can see how it shows this here. All right, now, we've done this one. Uh, I can double click, uh, and it will select all of it in this background, right? So I can zoom in on the image, I can zoom out as well, and I can cha change the crop. Now, this is just the image. Now, if I don't like this, I can just actually click on the background, double click on it, and I can right click and let's see. Mm -hmm. Now when you click on it here, because you can see this image text, uh, I can change it or I can actually delete it as well just by going to cut and it takes it all, right? Now you can see I have gray and matter. Now the color of this, uh, when you double select, change that text color, I can highlight it. I can not, let's see, let's highlight this one. Uh, we haven't done that before. Right, and you can see here, highlight it the same, the same color, or the orange, and just double click, and there you go. Now, this is how to do the highlight. You can also change the text color as well, if that's something you prefer. Now, you can see there's a text box, uh, now, there's nothing here in the text box. Uh, I can click and cut that out as well uh, if you don't want the text box, but I do. I'll do like that as well. So I want to go back to undo and put that back. All right. Now, these are the images. Uh, the Wix Pro Gallery. This is for the group of the band. Uh, I want to manage media, uh, or I can actually go right here, manage media. Mm-hmm. All right, now we have this media here. Uh, now, this is what's already on here. Now, this is a gallery selected box. Uh, I can show you guys how to add a gallery in just a few moments. Uh, now, this is one of the galleries that's done. Uh, when I select this, I can actually put this in trash, right? If not, if I want to add something else, I can. Uh, I can add it by add media up here, and I can do image or a text or a YouTube video as well. I want to add an image to it. Now, this is again, this is just because of gallery. I can add mine. Uh, but let's go for media from Wix. Let's say I don't have any pictures yet and I just want something to look cool. It's the same deal. All right. Now, you can choose from thousands of images. You can do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Let's do music or we can, because uh, when you search in the search bar, let's say rock and roll, right? Rock and roll. And there you go. You can see it shows up a lot of different templates here uh, for rock and roll. Uh, I want, ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, add to page. So yeah, select that one. And there we go. And let's say you want to make this one first. We can. And you can move them as well, how you see fit. Uh, you can go back to add media. And you can upload some, again, from how I just showed you directly without actually having to do anything else you know, or another image as well uh, or the video. The video is really cool because if you have a group of your band uh, it's going to allow you to really show, showcase that. All right now you can see I'm done uh, so coming to done all right and we're finished and now you can see that uh, we have our gallery here with the first now, when we come to preview, and you hear me all the time saying about go to preview and then come back so you can see this in real time, uh, let's see this in real time. Now, you can see 
that we have that. Uh, and you can kind of move over, right? So do, 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 let's go to the gallery. And here you go. Now this is a different gallery uh, from the home page. So you can actually set a lot more. Uh, and this is the dates uh, for the latest news. I'm a paragraph. Hey, new dates for summer festivals. Again, just highlight as well. Uh, but we are in the, uh, well, the preview area, so we can't really see it. All right. And you can see there's the music. And this is all of the website, what it is, right? Pretty fast. Okay. Now let's go to back to editor. Now let's change some of this. Now we've already changed the label, the time. Uh, when we come through, maybe the latest news, double click, new news, we can change it, and the same for bold italics, the same before as you can see, and we can make it red. Double click, and we leave it alone, and there we go. Uh, <laughs> there we go. All right. Fantastic. All right. New news. Now you can see that. Now this is the music box. This is the Wick music box for how redone. Now uh, I'm going to actually delete this just to show you how to add a new one. Now music, now this is just another uh, for the, if you don't want to start from scratch, this is why templates are really useful. So here on this particular template, it already gives you that. If you don't like that music player, you can just delete it. We're gonna go to add. We're gonna go back down to video and music. We can do video box, audio players as well. And when we click audio players, let's scroll down. Now this was the same. I'm going to drag and drop. All right. Now we have our own good vibes, right? This is the Wix music. This is just one I did. Now let's say manage your music and you have all of your music already uploaded. You have all of this on your computer. You have all these audio files, right? perfect because for this specific website with music uh, I'm assuming that if you have a band you have copies of your own music so you can do this from your own library but if you don't again you can use some of the music that's already chosen for you with Wix.com uh, or however now let's say you have an album you can select album if you have just one single you really want to put out there single down if you're doing a single uh, and I'm gonna show you that in just a moment you can actually use single just for a one one player. You don't have to have this multiple playlist like as we did as we just showed you how it has a bunch of them. Uh, I'll show you that, and especially that's gonna be really cool for like new news, like check out our new single. Uh, but because this is actually a playlist, let's create a playlist. Uh, and this is pretty cool because if you have an album, but just like maybe you only have twelve songs and it's only on one album, perfect. If you have like ten albums, but you have a playlist you really want to showcase, well, your playlist here. Now, uh, the playlist cover, you can add an image. Let this load. All right, that's the image that we had before. Uh, I'm going to double click. I'm going to use that for my playlist cover because that's what we're using for our band, right? Uh, playlist name. Mm, let's see. Uh, let's call it the Black Sheep. The Black Sheep. Uh, genre, we can call it metalcore or whichever. Hair, um, death metal, black metal. There we go. What? See. Uh, alrighty. We can type in the best of Ed Bangers, right? Created by John Doe, etc. All right, select a currency, US dollars, and there we go. Now we're going to save and add tracks. Black Sheep, add your tracks. Now you can see we already created that playlist. Now we're going to add tracks, and you can add them from right here in just that moment. Pretty cool, right? All righty, now you can delete it, and you can promote it as well right here. Uh, and that's your playlist. All right, let's exit out, and you can see we have our playlist. Add your first track, John Doe, Black Sheep. And you can see, this is what we created. Now, uh, as I told you, especially with news, 
Uh, I'm going to move this because you can see it's a little shoddy. There we go. Make it a little bit better, and we're going to kind of make it a little smaller to fit inside of this, right? Right there with a little bit of cropping, and there we go. Fantastic. It's a playlist. Now we can share the playlist as well. Uh, and you go back to settings, and now the Wix music, uh, it will load up for you. All right, Black Sheep, new music. You can add it. You can add more of the same, and you can even do the design, text and buttons. And you can do the text, the paragraph, the subtitle, the track list. You can change all of that as well. Just click on this, and you can actually do bold and italics to change how you're really presenting that name, right? Uh huh. And the action buttons as well. You can choose a style for them. And you can even so kind of really make that your own customized with that. Now, let's see. Now, this is vertical. You can create horizontal, right? We do vertical here, or you can do a list, right? Such how. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to keep this one for vertical at the moment. Uh, show fit, and we have already done that. Below playlist, you can show the track list. You can actually track name only, track name and artist. Uh, on active track only, on tracks, and the spacing for the track list, so as it goes on. But we didn't upload any because I'm not a musician, uh, so I don't really have any music to add. But that's what we have. Uh, buttons and hover, you can change that color. Double click on the color, the text. We could change it to red. The control bar, we can change it to yellow. And you can see how all of this is changing here, right? Pretty cool, right? All right. Let me change that. The title. Uh, themes, you can make custom as well. And the font size, you can make smaller. And you see it as we go. Bold and italics. And this is how you're going to change all of them. Right? Do you see that? Add your first track. All right. And this is it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty cool. So now we created our, our playlist. Now let's come down. Now we have uh the text bar as well and we have some spacing uh let's say we want to add a single track music and let's take that space right here right uh for a new single let's come to add especially with news it'll be cool to kind of present this with like news uh because it's exactly in that moment that uh when somebody see new news and you have a new single it's new right so you can really kind of promote that kind of push that out there and catch your attention now uh, this is the uh, album, or this is the playlist you can have, etc., etc., etc. So let's go exactly down to the single video players, uh, and I'm going to choose. Uh, let's do this, just a video upload. Uh, but I don't want that. I want the audio players. Here we go, uh, the audio players. I'm going to drag. And I'm gonna drop. Now, if you notice, you see how the how it's this like little fight with little colors to kind of get it right. So to make it exactly center, you see the purple line kind of coming straight up. Now this is going to show you that it's exactly parallel and it, the dimensions are perfect. Now I dropped it. Now I could change the track uh, the same way. So I go to change track, one track, external MP3, right, and I can add a URL or one track. Now again, change the image. There we go. I changed the image. Uh, I can go back to settings and we can scroll down. Artist name. And artist name. Let's see. Black sheep. Whatever. Right. Uh, track name. Till dust tomorrow. however you want, right? Play once or play in a loop. So I'm gonna put play in a loop, and there we go. And you can see right here, pretty cool, right? Uh, now I want to grab attention, I am going to make that kind of pop up like that. There we go, I want that extra. There we go, what do you think? Uh, so that's our single player as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. 
And let's see, it's gray in the back, so you, we have already went over to show you how to change all of that. New track, Magic Mushroom is out, Black Unicorns, but I changed that name right uh, to Gray Matter. Uh, so you can change it to make it parallel, but I wanted to really kind of focus on actually adding music to this as well. Uh, but giving a quick, just the same way, if you wanted to add a video, maybe you have a music video, a single video player. If you have it from YouTube, Vimeo, if you have it from Facebook, the same. Uh, but let's just drag for the video. And we have it here. I'm going to pull down. I've made it. And I'm going to crop it just to taste, to fit. And I'm going to make it center right here. You can see that purple line. And now I have a video. Now when I click on it, I can change the video the same way as you change this track. Uh, we can go to settings, right? We can actually add from our computer. We can have it so it auto plays, plays in a loop too. I wouldn't want to do autoplay, especially with this, because I already have that as audio autoplay. And, and change video, and there we go. Uh, the same, we can do the layout. On hover, uh, play button size. You can make it bigger or smaller for the video. Right, uh, on hover or never. When playing controls show, never or on hover. All right, and let's grab some attention too. There we go. And that's it. So now we've added a, our own custom playlist. We've added our single. And we've added our video for you guys. Uh, pretty cool. So in the next video, I will probably do another band website or another DJ. And I'm going to show you exactly how to add marketing to it if you want to sell your music. So don't forget to kind of catch our next video. So we're going to show you how to set up that uh, music marketing, how to sell tickets, how to do events. Uh, as well as kind of get everything in order for you to actually make money if you're a band, right? Because who wants to be in a band without making at least some money, right? Not many of us. So again, don't forget to hit subscribe, follow us on through for the next videos, and I can't wait to see you guys again. Ciao.